So we're going to take a look at how you can link sections in your Schoology course listing so that, for example, if you teach, let's say, four sections of sixth grade English and you want to be able to only have to create content for one of those courses and it automatically go into the rest of them, you can do so by using this function. There are certain criteria that have to be met in order for you to link courses. The first being that all of the um, sections of this course have to be part of the same course. Um, also, you can't have any overlapping students in those courses, and they also all have to be in the same grading period, meaning if you teach a quarter-long course and the content is the same for each quarter, but the grade period is associated with a different quarter in Schoology, it's not going to allow you to link them. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into Schoology and you're going to click on Courses and then you're going to go over to the right and click on my courses so this is going to give you a listing of all the courses that you have and you're going to notice here for my grade 8 algebra I have two sections meaning I have actually two separate courses for the same subject right now these courses are not linked together so what I want to do is link them. I'm going to link section 99 to section 4 so that when I go into section 4 and add content to it, it will automatically get placed into section 99 as well. Now this doesn't mean that I can't individually assign materials to either course separately if I need to. If they're on maybe a different time frame, one class is behind the other, you can certainly do that. But for the most part, if you know you're going to be um, assigning the same content to all the sections in your grade 8 algebra, you can link them to make it easier to manage your course load. So the way that you're do, going to do this is you're going to go over here and you're going to select a course that's going to be quote sort of the master course that you'll be putting all the content in. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select link existing section. When I select link existing section, it's going to show me all the available sections that I would be allowed to link to. Now, had this been grayed out, that would indicate that this course didn't meet the criteria, which means I might have students that are overlapping in these courses or they might be in different grading periods. This one I am allowed to do because they have the same grading period. And I'm now all I need to do is click next. Now, you will get this pop-up here because there is one thing you do need to remember, and I, I should have said this probably at the beginning, but you only want to do this linking courses at the beginning of a school year before you have any grades in the Schoology Gradebook. Because if you do this after and you have grades in, in the Schoology Gradebook, the other classes aside from the master class are those grades are going to be removed so it forces you to download even if you don't have any grades yet an excel file or a csv file of all grades that are currently in the school g gradebook for your other sections and this is just a safeguard just in case you had um, grades that were in that course before you link them so i'm going to click download so you can see here it, it, this is what it gives you this little um, options over here once complete the sections will share grade setup materials course profile member enrollments will still belong to their respective sections so now I can click link sections so once these sections are linked we're going to go over to the master section just so that you can see what it looks like when I assign materials that it's going to go into both of these courses so the courses were successfully linked and you can see that now each section is not on its own individual line but rather on one line so when I click on this remember section 4 is so quote our master section but right now when I if I were to go to add materials as an example you can see underneath all of the current folders and um, items that I have in this course you can see that they are assigned to two different sections so if I were to assign something, let's say I would add an assignment, this is automatically going to be assigned to both of my courses, but I will have some options to ch make some individual changes. So if I were to fill all of this out, you can see here 
down below, there are some options if you did need to individualize everything. By default, this assignment would go to everybody. But I can customize if I needed to, if there was one section here that was going to have maybe um, a different end date or a different due date or anything like that. So you do have those options to do some customization if you were going to assign something. So I'm just going to cancel this right now. The other thing that I want to show you is what the grade book will look like. So in terms of being able to view grades, it's not going to list all of your students in this one long list. You will be able to filter this out by section. So by default, it automatically goes to section four, which if you recall, that is my quote master section. And then if I needed to see what the gradebook looked like for the other students, I could then filter this and just view um, the other section of my class and see their grades here. So this is a really helpful tool if you have a number of courses where you're going to be distributing the same content and instructional material. And again, you do have some options to make modifications to um, different items if you only want to assign something to one class or you need to change due dates for your um, assignments depending on where they are at in the class. I hope this was helpful and remember do this at the beginning of the course year not in the middle or at the end.